Gene editing has already begun to have a profound impact on human health. So the era of therapeutic human gene editing isn't just coming, but it's already here. And in fact, it's been here for several years now. Researchers at the Broad have been at the forefront of gene editing research for many years. Gene editing in the form of nucleases like CRISPR-Cas9 that cut DNA and disrupt genes, to base editors that precisely convert one DNA base pair to a different base pair, to prime editors that can search and replace missing DNA letters or extra DNA letters, or convert just about any kind of DNA sequence that might cause a disease into the healthy sequence, all three of those technologies have now been used in humans with benefits to patients. These diseases that have been treated with therapeutic nucleases, base editors, and prime editors include a great variety of disorders, all very serious, including sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia, metabolic liver diseases, immunodeficiencies like chronic granulomatous disease, high cholesterol that correlates with heart disease, and cancer, including a variety of uh, leukemias. The potential of gene editing to impact human health, even just over the next five years, is enormous because there are about 300 million people in this world that suffer from genetic diseases caused by misspellings in their DNA. And of course, many more, including pretty much all healthy people, have the risk of getting diseases that can be decreased uh, by precision gene editing. Now, we are really at a crossroads at this moment in which the technologies to make the kinds of precise changes in our genomes to deliver them in certain cases to certain tissues uh, and to benefit patients has all been pretty well established for many kinds of diseases and treatments. So we are at an interesting point in, in the history of medicine in which we know how to fix far more diseases than are being treated right now.